Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Dr. Rahul Rover. Welcome to classification series of Orthopedic Series Pro. Today we are going to discuss uh, classification of uh, acetabular bone loss in revision total hip replacement. All right. So basically, as you see here, this is a revision total hip replacement. So <clears throat> The first classification that is commonly seen is the Aus classification. Aus classification is uh, it is basically divided into five types. Type one is segmental. Here there is loss of the part of acetabular rim or on the medial bone, and this is a segmental defect. Always remember type one is segmental defect. Type two is cavitatory defect. So there will be a volumetric loss in the bony substance of the acetabular cavity. Whereas in type three, it is a combined defect, which is segmental loss as well as cavitatory deficiency. Whereas type four is pelvic discontinuity. There is complete, complete separation between the superior and inferior acetabulum, and then, then there is type five, which is arthrodesis. And arthrodesis. Let me show you a picture of this. Uh, as you see here, uh, the type five, it is arthrodesis, which is complete fusion of the joint. All right. And then the next is uh, I'll show you some pictures here. So this is uh, house type two. That is there is a cavitatory loss in the superior part of the acetabulum as you see here. And in type three, which is a combined type, here there is segmental loss as well as cavitatory loss. As you see, there is medialization of the acetabular cup. And this then there is type uh, type four, which is pelvic discontinuity. As you see, uh, there is. A complete discontinuity between superior and inferior pelvis, and this has been created by uh, the processes only. So now let's move ahead to the next type of classification that is known as Paprosky classification, which is very common. This is even more common than Aus classification. So Aus classif uh, so this uh, Paprosky classification is divided into type one, two, and three, whereas further type two is divided into two A, two B, and two C, and three type is divided into type three A and type three B. Type one is very minimal deformity, and the rim is intact. And in type two A, there is superior bony lysis with intact superior rim. I'll show you the picture in the next slide. Uh, as you see here, there is in type one there is minimal bone loss, whereas in type two A there is superior bone loss, but rim is intact. There is in type two B there is rim loss as well. As you see here, there is absent superior rim, and there is superior lateral migration. And then there is type 2C, where is there is a localized destruction of the medial wall, as you see here as well. In type 2C, there is localized destruction of type uh, of acetabular wall. Then there is type 3A. There will be bone loss from 2 uh, from 10 uh, p.m. to 2 a.m. as you see here. And there will be superolateral cup migration, whereas in type 3B. There is bone loss from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. around the rim, as you see here nicely in type 3a. It is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Whereas from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock position, whereas in type 3b, it is from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock position. And there will be in type 3b, there are more chances of having pelvic discontinuity because it is quite an extensive bone loss. All right. So the, the, let me show you some more pictures here. This is Paprosky type one, as you see. That there is a minimal uh, stabular deficiency, and then there is type uh, Paprosky type two A. So as you see, there is uh, superior uh, um, uh, rim loss with uh, without migration, and this is type two B. Here there is superior rim loss as well as superior migration, and this is type two C, where there is combined. And this is type three A. In type three A, as we have discussed, this is, and this is type three B. As you see, there will be pelvic discontinuity, and there is uh, extensive uh, stabular bone loss. That is from nine o'clock to five o'clock position. So thank you so much to listening to this. please like subscribe and share to this channel orthopedic series pro for more videos that are upcoming thank you so much